G'day again. Uh, back here looking at another demo that I've come across. Star Faders. Now, uh, if you are a fan of roguelikes, deck builders, or tower defense games, you are surely uh, eating good this year already. Now, this one is a roguelike deck builder um, with a hint of Into the Breach and you know, some influence from uh, Mega Man Battle Network or One Step from Eden, I feel. Uh, it's got the grid based, turn based deck builder thing going on. And um, I played one game and I thought, oh, I have to, have to do a video on this just to show off what it can do. So, basically, let me get in here and I'm just unlocked a couple of pilots here as well. And they all start with different, ah, oh, okay, different artifacts, different. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, I'm going to start with the basic ones. I think um, Roxy is who the tutorial was done with. Okay, first contact. So the uh, situation is basically you are defending Earth from aliens, I guess. And they make their way down the grid and sort of <laughs> space invader style. Um, and if they reach the bottom, you start gaining doom counter points. And uh, if you reach five, you're doomed, basically. Um, so you obviously have to prevent that. And you're limited by what cards you have. There's turn limits. And, um, you know, it's a bit tactical as well. You've got to think about movements and, and what order you take out enemies and things like that. Uh, so it's actually really cool. It's an Aegis bomb. I'm gonna go Nova Bomb because I know it. So yeah, this is the uh, basically level selection screen. Um, you can see who or what will appear in your battle and what your reward will be. Um, I'm familiar with these two, so I might just go for this one. Okay, and this is the battle screen. So obviously we just need to kill all the invaders up here. This is us, and these are the cards we've drawn. Now there's a heat meter, and you can see each card has one heat value. And if you play more than your heat meter, so that's three cards in this case, you overheat and then you burn cards, which means you can use them once, and then they go off the rest of this battle. So you need to be a bit strategic. Now this guy here is shielded, and he will shoot a rocket at me and actually hurt me. So you don't necessarily have health, but that will put uh junk cards in your deck which obviously is not good and these guys are unique in that they group together um, and if you destroy a couple and leave one on its own it will basically perish so they are strong in numbers but you can break them up what i think i'm going to do first is actually kill this guy and i think we can so we've got three fire cards so and obviously these just shoot Straight upward, as you can see on the right there. So I'm going to shoot upward and break his shield. I'm going to shoot upward again and stop him from shooting me. Then these cards let me move one or two tiles. So I'm going to move to block these somehow. Now this might actually be really tricky because I don't have many cards that can deal with groups. But I do have a couple of bombs, so maybe that will be the way to go. Oh yes, and they keep spawning. I did forget that <laughs> little fact. So, how am I going to do this? So if these get to the top, sorry, the bottom three rows, that's when you start getting doom generated. So I really need to move quickly. I think I'm in a bit of trouble here because I can't sit there and shoot a bomb because he will blow me up. And move backwards, I suppose. Put a bomb there. Blow it. I could move again and burn this card. Actually, I might. That might be a good strategy. So that ended my turn, but obviously that card has been burned now. So I might be able to use that again. I'm going to hit that. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, in trouble. I think I'm going to need to burn a card here just to save my skin. So it'll generate doom. If you end the turn with one on these rows, you generate doom. So. I want to avoid that if I can. This is going to be tricky. Oh, especially because I've only got one fire card. But what I can do, you get chrono tokens. I've got three out of three at the moment. And uh, if I use one of those, it'll actually 
restart my turn and draw me a fresh hand. Uh, which didn't help <laughs> very much. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so that's something at least I can shoot. Oh, I didn't think this through because now he's going to blow me up. But that's okay, I need to just get this out of here. I'm not going to overheat that one as well. So that'll have to do for now. As you can see, junk gain. So it's added basically a junk card to my deck and uh, I'll worry about that next turn. If I kill you and kill you, you will die because you're on your own. I'm going to start moving this way, even though that overheated. Oh, what happened there? I think maybe if he generates two months, he dies. So, okay, that's about as good as I could do there. Okay, so the reward for that was a new card. So these are my choices here. Okay, so this one, if I kill something with this bullet, the most expensive card in my hand is free, and I assume the expense is judged by the heat cost. So at this stage, it might just be a random card that I've got there, which isn't bad. Buy one bullet upwards. If you break a shield, get plus one heat sink for the remainder of the encounter. That's pretty good. And fire one bullet upwards that splits into two. So that's good, but expensive and situational. I might do this one. Right, now these are some interesting choices here. So this one I'm going to face four enemies I haven't come across before. But I could earn an artifact. Artifacts are basically like this fire starter here, which is what this pilot started with. The first time you overheat, draw two cards and get two heat sink next turn. So uh, they're valuable, but that could be a very difficult battle. Saying that, Oh, and if I beat this one, I get a bonus of negative one doom. That can take this point off the counter. But I think I'm... Uh, yeah, I'll be brave. I'll just see what this does. Still learning. What is that? A boomer. When destroyed, detonates and strikes adjacent tiles. Really? Because I think I uh, know how to deal with that. Oh, you have shields. Of course you do. Well, not anymore, you don't. Now this thing here is a Time Angel. If I kill that, I get another Chrono Token. So sometimes it is worth focusing the fire on that to get it before it runs away after two turns. But that's a bit situational as well. If I destroy the entity, make the most expensive card free. So that could be a free move. Or am I better off just doing this? I wonder if indirectly killing an entity counts towards my the card's bonus there, so let's see. That's a nice chain reaction. And has that made that one free by the looks of it? Yeah. Or do I try and kill the time angel? Yeah, so that did, that did work. Which is nice. So he's gone in one turn, so I really wanna well, actually. Ah, uh, I do. Maybe. That's right, I will shoot him here. So I got a Chrono token back, which is nice. So they are replenishable, but that you have to earn them, really. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now I get to pick an artifact. Each turn, spawn an Echo Bomb on a random tile near the middle of the grid. grid? Echo Bomb. I right click on that, that'll give me some more information. Self detonates, which is nice. And. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's if it burns, that's what it turns into. So every turn there'll be a self detonating bomb. Every, yeah, every turn, a self detonating bomb in the middle of the grid. That's pretty good. I think. When you reshuffle your discard into your draw pile, skip up to three random burnt cards. Okay, so if you are burnt cards a lot, uh, that leaves them in your draw pile and not in your hand, which is good. Or when a push or pull card is played, reduce the cost of a random card by one. I don't actually have one of those yet, but I, I do like the idea of this one, so I'm going to pick that. Okay, go again. Now you see here, this one, this upgrade, oh sorry, this bonus is an upgrade. 
and that offers an upgrade to one of my cards in my hand, which is a modifier. I've only seen one, and it was to a normal fire card, and what it did is it added a piercing shot to it, so that can be quite nice as well. I think I'm going to try that. I mean, they have these detonator invaders here, but um, oh, and these things here will shoot me, but that's not all bad. Let's, let's give it a try. Right, so half the, half the battlefield is lit up as uh, dangerous at the moment. So can I move? And if I shoot him, one of my cards will be free. Which is this one. So I could technically do that. Break his shield. Oh, I'm still going to cop damage, but that's okay. What's happening? Okay, that's good there. I'm going to move here. I'm going to shoot a bomb. Still going to take damage. Do I burn? Yeah, I'll overheat myself there. Next turn, I'll draw two extra cards as well as part of this artifact. So you, you really want to use, you need to use these junk cards to purge them out of your hand as well. So that's going to go off and kill those. So I'm not going to bother. I'm going to move this way. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. Now I've still got four out of five. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to shoot you as well. So I'm safe. I should take at least two, destroy that shield, and I'll be much better off. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying that artifact, that's quite good. If I shoot you and kill you, I'll get a freebie. Nice. Maybe I'll build a chain reaction with these bombs. If I put you there, this bomb will detonate that one, which will kill that. And I will put another bomb... Maybe there for a future turn. Now all I need to do is hit you, and you're done. Okay, upgrade. Okay, I can add Echo to a fire card. It adds plus two repeat. So it triggers twice again but then is basically burned out of the encounter piercing obviously self-explanatory goes through one monster and hits the one behind it as well or chain quick fire if this destroys an invader it stays in your hand after being played so comboing that with the fact that this can make another card free could be quite powerful i do like piercing though but this sort of is a nice little synergy. So I'll give that a go. Now, a few rounds in, we'll come to Min's Workshop. And this is just a, basically a little store. I have uh, 14,000 stars, which I'm, I think is good for rewards and killing monsters, and then obviously you spend them here. Okay, <laughs> so this card, the bundle. I mean, I'll get two of the same card. When I play that, it detonates every bomb on the screen and respawns them. This fires a bullet from every bomb. <laughs> if that destroys an invader, it stays in my hand. Push all entities in your column left or right. Or when this becomes burnt, get a heat sink for the rest of the encounter. Wow. Then we have artifacts over here. Your mech is a bomb. It detonates and strikes adjacent tiles when struck. Okay. Draw a plus one card each turn. After you shuffle your draw pile, strike your mech. That's good and bad. I like the idea of this. But. Firing a. Oh, I mean, both of these sound good. It detonates the bombs and then replaces them, basically. I get two of them and there will be a bomb at least every turn so maybe that is the smart way to go 
What does the tip jar do? Okay, maybe that's a little sort of uh, reminiscent of Bonnie Lysak putting coins in the uh, donation machine, and that'll unlock some more cards for me. Cool. This nice touch, and then we come to a boss encounter. So you see our progress here: three, but three invasions, I guess. Then Min's shop, and then a boss. Hopefully, he's weak to bombs. What is this? Chandler must be struck three times to be defeated, but he's shielded. When struck, it moves away, gains a shield, and spawns in bait. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> that's very painful. So if I use that, that'll stay in my hand and make something else free, right? Yes. That's free, a move. But oh, that's okay, I'm going to put a bomb there, I'm going to shoot it again. And I could technically use this again, but that will burn it, and I don't really want to waste that. Uh, I will end there. Perfect. So shoot you. Right, I see. A bomb there, and that'll be a little chain reaction. I'll show you. I've got another bomb right now, actually. Uh, oh, that's not good, is it? I'm gonna use a, a chrono token. Yeah, that's not bad actually, is it? I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'll take care of you, I'm going to put you there. End. Where's my detonator now? Move. Oh, I've only got one move. Hmm. Okay, that's not a bad sacrifice. So I really need to hit him just twice more. If I do this, and play this. And play it again. Lovely. But yeah, really utilizing those extra bombs. So now we get an artifact as a reward. Seraphim. Start with a shield. The first time you break a shield each turn, draw one card. Your cards with fire in it, so it'll get plus one repeat and plus one heat. Interesting. And cards that are repeated get an extra repeat. Is that a uh, Plants vs. Zombies reference for repeater? this guy. I don't have any with repeat. I mean, I could with this, but I can't get both, obviously. Plus one heat scares me, though. So you're basically shooting twice in one for the cost of two. I'll go shield. That also rewards me for breaking shields. What are you? I think this one moves twice as fast, I'm not sure what this could be, but I'll, I'll not go over here. And there are breakable shields, and what was my bonus for breaking shields? For an extra card, so... I could... What do here? This might require burning, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's through. Maybe through Chrono. Oh, I don't want to use that already. I'm going to... Oh, that made that free. Okay, that works. Wait, immune? When its shield breaks, gains immunity. Oh. Okay. Always read the fine print. 
Um, okay, I'm going to detonate that bomb. I'm going to... Oh, I'm not going to detonate that again because... No, he's immune, so I'm going to kill you. Move there. Bit of waste. Where's my bomb? Put you there. I'm going to detonate the bombs. I'm going to shoot you. You're not going to make this free, and I'm going to shoot you. I'll do it again. The token. Oh, I can't get another token, so I might leave that. Oh, can I detonate this bomb? Where are my, where are my detonators now? Kill you. Kill you, break your shield. Hopefully I can just shoot you this turn, you won't get a doom off, and you're done. So 900 stars, and if Big Bang destroys an invader, stays in my hand, so I could just, have... well that's actually, could be broken, couldn't it? If I detonate a bomb with this, and it kills someone, it'll stay in my hand, my bombs will respawn. I can do it again. If a bomb is next to someone with a shield, I have this. I just go bang, 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 and they're just dead. And this one's broken. Generates a jam instead of heat. Should be good. Will this one move and draw a card? You know what? I want to go to this because that seems very broken. <laughs> Potentially. Uh, artifact. Yeah. Okay, Weaver. When your when your turn start when your turn starts, spawn web on adjacent empty tiles. Right. The block bullets. Maybe. Do I need to re-roll? I think I will. Oh, that's pretty lame. They don't count as invaders, do they? No. Let's go shoot. Shoot. I'll move. Yeah. This guy might be vulnerable to bombs if we get one, you know, somewhere in the middle of them. That's not good. Uh... I'm going to shoot, I'm going to do that. It'll stay in my hand, and I'll do it again. And now our bomb is free. I'll put that there. This is free. That could be really good. I don't have a detonator though, do I? Uh, that's okay. You shoot. Going to shoot. Going to bomb. Okay. Detonate. Move. You're dead. That's good. Um, where can I put this? Put that there. I'm going to detonate. I'm going to move. And I will burn a shot, but that's fine. 
okay. Move once, going to move twice. Going to shoot, going to shoot. Done. 4,400 stars earned. Pea shooter. There might be another plant spare zombies uh, <laughs> reference. After you play a repeated card, strike a random shield shieldless invader. Thermal beam. Unused heatsink is added to your heatsink next turn. Start with a supply drop on the grid. When destroyed, draw three cards and reset your heat. It's interesting. I mean, that's very good as well, potentially. Go with this one. There is every chance that that supply drop will just be randomly destroyed by my three bombs, right? Uh, I'm going to go for another upgrade. So there is the supply drop. What do you do for me? Yeah, reset my heat, that's good. Shoot that. Shoot that. That stays in my hand. Shoot that. Okay. Uh, and this is free now, so I might move this way again. Now these blobs, when I kill them, they break up into a few smaller blobs, which is uh, concerning. I'm going to re-roll this. I want to use them all early, but Oh, okay, that didn't really help me. Just need to start clearing out some numbers. Oh, random bombs have been going off lately, have they? That's better. If I move here and shoot, that'll give me a free move, and this stays in my hand. I'm going to shoot again. Oh, what is this? Gives you a shimmer if you are struck. Lucky for me, I have a free move. I'm not going to bother burning. I'm going to just end there. That's nice. That was a good bomb. How do I not see you sneak up on me? Can I bomb you? I can. I put a bomb there. Gonna detonate. Put another bomb right there. And good. It move free. That's fine. We should make detonate free actually, but that's okay. I'm going to detonate. Lovely. I'm going to move here and use my free shot on you. I'm going to detonate. I'm going to get that bomb. And move there. Bomb there, I shoot you. Okay, another one there. Got two left. Hopefully, they'll just yep sit on that bomb. And good night. Really satisfying when a little plan like that comes together. So, another big bang. This one draws me a card when I use it. Spawn a Nova Bomb up to four tiles away. That's risky. Okay, so if I put that in a danger zone, which is one that's going to be hit by an enemy next turn, repeat. Or move and draw a card. I actually might skip this one. That was... Damn, that was an upgrade, not a new card. <laughs> Where's my chrono? 
token. I want that choice again. I thought I was getting a new card for some reason. I didn't want to fill up my deck, but anyway, that's um, unfortunate. Minefield. Start with three bombs on the grid. 50% chance of not burning cards. Use a tile and purge this card to launch a rocket at it. Bouncing bullet. Break a shield. And fire one bullet down. Throw a nova bomb that pushes the first entity. Um, can't say no the minefield, can I, this build? I'm going to donate to you. Concussive blast. Use an empty tile, push all adjacent tiles. Um... Hmm. Uh, yeah, don't want to take that right now. I don't think. I might regret that. Mega Blob. Let's see what these mines do for us. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Ooh, I'm gonna get hit here. Unless I move here, and then I might put a bomb. There. I'm gonna burn a fire already. I think I might. Oh, he's immune. Should have checked the fine print. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. Got a free move. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Got two free detonates, but it will do oh very little. Strikes against this target have no effect. Okay, well that's a good bomb right there. Okay. Detonate, please. If this destroys someone, I can play it again. Okay, I will. 14 combo. Um, and I will burn that just to move, yeah. Lovely placement there. Let's detonate again. Shoot you, move becomes free. If I shoot you, bomb becomes free. I'll take that. Hit you, and I'll burn you. Let's detonate you right now, and we're done. 11,000 stars. Okay, any shield broken by my bolts detonates, striking adjacent tiles, and that would synergize with my Seraphim, which draws me for breaking shields with extra cards. When your bullets miss or strike something immune, draw one card, or all bombs are pushed upwards when your turn ends. You have no bomb limit. Oh, goodness, that's uh, <laughs> really wanting me to do a bomb build. I don't even know if that's going to be fantastic that they move, but the removal of the limit is pretty exciting. What is going on here? Leviathan. Leviathans must be defeated one segment at a time. When destroyed, add a junk to your discard. 
Christ. I'll do that. That'll chain react to that lot. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move over here. Right, the bomb, okay. <laughs> the bombs will just smash into stuff. That's cool. And I know. The bomb. Hmm. You have to kill a mimic, which is annoying. Throw you down. Don't you detonate. And I'll do it again. Move. Yeah. That. Move here. Beat that. Very cool. Now, that'd be dumb. So there's an upgrade. I play the move repeat. So do I get to choose where this second repeat goes? Chilled Big Bang. Detonates all bombs. Reduces heat by one, or move and fire a bullet at the same time. Ooh. I want to do this. Removing heat could be really good. I'd rather not fight that again. <laughs> Astromancer gang. More difficult than usual, but better rewards. I'm not sure I'm up to that. I want to try this and just see what this other undiscovered alien is. A ghost? Yes. When destroyed, all other ghosts gain immunity this turn. Annoying. But I will move here and I will shoot you. And I will move here. You're going to set that off, which will open the supply drop, which is nice. Oh, no, you're not because you move. That was silly. I'm going to shoot you now. Oh, I should have saved it, really. You made the bomb free, so I'm going to move back here. Put a free bomb right there so you don't blow up. They're destroying these mimics, which is a bit annoying, but yeah, be careful about that. What is this? Hallucination. If I'm played, draw one fewer card next turn. Put that there. I'm gonna play this just to get it out. That only looks really good about now. If I'm played, you get one non-fatal doom. Jeez. Okay, you just made it free, so that's really good. I don't do anything else, though. What can I do? Just heat by one if I detonate. We put a bomb there, detonate.
Now, I can't kill a ghost now, but I can use this extra turn to get a chrono token, which is always welcome. My bombs are just creeping to the top of the board. Unplayed strike your mech, that's rude. Get that out of here. Oh, you can cause doom? It's annoying. Can I... Over I can overheat by doing that, and that's fine. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I can't kill him. But I'll get rid of him next turn. Hopefully that bomb will... No, no, it'll go away. It's fine. Okay, those are interesting. Are enemies? Okay, generates a jam. It's a heat. Uh, so it's just junk. I mean, don't lose anything by doing this. If I just play to move, repeat. So if I move, then throw a bomb, I can throw another bomb, presumably. Okay, I want to avoid you, so I'm going to go here. Astromancer. Spawns asteroids every other turn. Which do what? Move twice as fast. Okay, so it spawns... Bastards. Do that, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, which will let me move again. Um, I'm gonna use that as well, actually. Get that ghost out of the way. That reset my heat. Awesome. Yeah. You're immune, my bullet shooting at you. Leave it at that. Okay, that's pretty good. Can't shoot you. Well, uh, in that turn. They move quick, don't they? That's fine. Wish I had a detonate right now. Ah, yeah, that was my double. Will this work? Will that just be a chain reaction and just wipe all this out? Nearly. Oh, I keep forgetting that they move. Um, but it will detonate. I will move, and I will shoot you, and I will shoot you. I'll take that. Okay, piercing fire. Generate jam instead of heat. Unburns and becomes frozen when drawn. Frozen cards do not discard when your turn ends, but they... Un oh, they lose frozen when played or burnt. Okay. That could be good. This also could be good. Back to the workshop. What have you got in there? That looks like a, an artifact, doesn't it? Volcanic ash. I've seen that. I don't think I want that. Potentially, that's good. Break your mech. It detonates in... Okay, so... So like a, a bomber mech artifact in a card. Flamethrower, burn a card and strike tiles in a large cone. Spawn a detonator four tiles away. When destroyed, detonates all bombs with plus one radius. Oh my goodness. Move one to three tiles in any direction, fire three bullets in the opposite direction. That could be good. This just works with the build though, doesn't it? You need $8,000. I'm going to do that. 
Each turn, the first card you play with multiple traits is free. I'll take it. I don't know if I have any multi-trait cards. I can afford something else. That could be powerful. What the hell? I'll see what happens. The Grandmaster. What is this? The Grandmaster will start channeling plus two doom when time runs out. Must be struck thrice to be defeated. Immune while adjacent to an invader or while a queen is alive. Queen moves and attacks in any direction. Holy moly, what is going on? Here's what I think I need to do. I need to move, I need to put you there. And... there I guess that's a piercing shot I shouldn't no oh, I should not have done that <laughs> can I re-roll or save it but my heat has reset what am I doing Really don't know. That's this is just turned to a bloody chess game. What are you? Actually, a rook. <laughs> um. Ooh. I'll shoot you for free. No, I can't. Can detonate. Move down. I'm gonna end there. Are you gonna generate doom? You are. Oh boy, this is intense. I can kill the queen with this. It will burn. Put it out there, put a bomb there. Oh, I mean, while well, okay. Um, I like being trapped here to be quite honest. You can go to hell. What we'll to do? Defeat him three times. Right. Um Tricky. I have a shield, which is annoying, but if I break that I'll get a card. Which means I can put another bomb there, for example. Detonate. You are a bishop, so you're shooting me. What does that do? 
Oh no, I need to hit a detonator and that'll kill. Not you. I'm gonna reroll this turn or do I Oh my luck? I can move back. No, I can't. I'll do that. I don't think that would work. I'm getting that confused with this, which doubles the range. <laughs> um, I'm just going to move there and leave it. To move there, I'm gonna put a bomb there. Shoot a detonator. I wanna burn this just to get rid of him. Won't defeat him. Oh, that did count, did it? Okay. Right, so just one hit per defeat. And now I've got one left to do. That reduces heat by one. So what? Up here, I'm going to detonate. Get my heat back. Shoot you. Shoot you. I don't like this. Oh, there's two queens. Alrighty. Is that one I shoot you? Um, you made a move freeze. I'm going to do that. I'm going to shoot you again. One queen down. get shot by a bishop but I think it might be worth it just to leave that what was my thinking there oh that I could shoot that and get chain reaction I don't know Hopefully my bombs move. Never gonna work the way I want it to, so um okay, you need to go. And a time as well. Is this a rewind? I'll give it a go. It's time for a rewind. So I really need to kill everything, don't I? They'll give me two of these. I'm gonna put one there, I'm gonna put one there. And didn't they? And to move here, and then I'm going to fire upwards. Get it. Glad I took that card in the end, that three shot. What is this? Hello? I've been waiting for you for a long time. 
Yet it is still too soon. But now, some adjustments must be made. See you soon. Timeline divergence. New Act 2 Special Encounter, New Act 1 Invader, New Act 3 Invader. Okay. Victory? Question mark? Okay, plenty of experience, so you level up your pilots as well, which is cool. Get an unlock. New set unlocked. Plasma bomb. Jester. When you gain a junk card, give it a random component. Move one to three tiles in a cardinal direction, striking nearby tiles. Okay. I'm gonna jester. Oh wow. Then I did bomb with plus two radius. Burns cards, don't like that. Do not enter turn when you overheat. Reset your deck and draw three cards. If it overheats, you get one doom. Wow. I get hot head. Thank you for playing. The full game will feature more mechs with their own pilot, me pilots, mechanics, and card pool. New bosses and elites. And you meet new characters, and it's the min. <laughs> and it won't just be min. Okay. Secret ending. Unlock the mysteries of time and save the chronoverse. Interesting. Love the character designs. And more. Well, I might wrap it up there. So again, this is Star Vaders. Demo is out on Steam now. Full release is later in 2024. Um, I really recommend you go check it out. This is really good, especially if you're like, you know, into the radius, any deck builder, any roguelike, turn-based strategy, sort of everything. So, um, yeah, I think we'll be seeing a lot more of this as this releases. So can't wait for that. So I'll put a link in the description so you can go check that out on Steam and wishlist it and try the demo. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.